Today, I'm going to address the biggest problem coders have when it comes to learning how to code. And that is, where do you start? Hey, welcome back to my channel. And before we end off this beautiful 2023 heading into the new year, I want to leave you with this banger of a video of information. A fellow colleague of mine showed me this website and I'm blown away. I think you're going to find so much value and it's going to help you so much in your learning journey that I'm going to ask you just to like this video, share it with a friend and impress some people out there. Make them think that you are amazing. All right, let's get into it. So to come back to my question, what is the biggest problem that coders or someone learning how to code usually have? Well, that is that you might be learning different technologies such as React over here or maybe a bit of SQL over there. But the problem is, is that at some point there will be a, a path that you have followed which doesn't lead in a chronological order. For example, if you learn about the HTTP protocol way after you are already making API requests, it might work, but you won't understand the fundamentals. And fundamentals are so important because it gives you that background, that knowledge to make other decisions on, such as when to debug, how to debug, how to write a piece of code, what architecture to use. So this is why it's so important to learn things in a chronological order so you can get a background on a topic and when you learn something else, that topic might facilitate it in a good way. For example, you can't be eating the apples if the tree doesn't exist and the tree can't exist if you didn't plant the seed. So we have to plant the seed, the tree must grow, then we can eat the apple. And that goes for anything we want to learn as well, especially if you want to have a good understanding on that. Now, usually at a college or university, this is what you'll do. You have a curriculum and it follows a chronological order so you can learn things uh, in the right way. Uh, but this website over here that I have uncovered, just a, a side note, it's not sponsored at all. Uh, a fellow colleague of mine showed me this and I thought this is simply amazing. What if you want to become a front-end developer? What roadmap should you take? What fundamentals should you learn before the other? And this is exactly what this website's all about. So head over to roadmap.sh and it should look like this. And then we're going to explore this website. So right off the bat, we can see here uh, with the role-based roadmaps, they have these beautiful uh, roles that you can go into, such as front-end development, back-end, DevOps, full stack, Android, the list goes on and you can even create your own. I see that the website uh, also allows you to learn uh, on a skill-based roadmap as well. And then also teach you about best practices, but for now, for this video, we're going to look at the roadmaps of a front-end developer. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now you will see this complex looking like structure of a roadmap. If it is a bit too complex, there's also a link to a beginner version for the same roadmap, but just in a much more lighter sense with general topics, not going too uh, in depth. But I want to focus on the full uh, extensive a front-end developer roadmap. So here we go. As you can see, the website can also track your progress. So you can even go ahead and, you know, go and track what you have learned so far. And it starts off by understanding the internet. You know, what is HTTP? How does the internet work? Which are all topics that are so important for the basic understanding before you even learn HTML. After understanding HTML, you can go and prettify it with CSS. Then add some interactivity with JavaScript and learn some of these. And I think you get the gist of it. You go through this roadmap step by step and each time you build up a foundation that is gonna give you so much confidence in what you do in your field. As you can see, the roadmap goes on and on and on. But you can also contribute in some way, I believe, because as we can see, this is a community effort uh, which created these roadmaps. But before this, 
As a developer, yes, you could have learned at college, but there's always new meta frameworks out there. And the problem is, is what do you focus on? You can go to Stack Overflow, read some articles, but they always change. And the thing is, even though this might change a tiny bit, I feel there's a lot of effort and thought that was put into setting up these roadmaps. And I can physically see that, that this is really how I would have learned exactly how to become a front-end developer. And I thought it's really valuable to share this today with you. So if you found some value, like I said, share this with a friend. Uh, they are really going to appreciate this or at the very least save this video because I'm going to be starting this series of whenever I find something valuable for a developer, um, I'm going to make this part one. This will be part one of, let's call it, best tools for developers part one. That's what the title is going to be. Because I think this is so crucial to get very solid foundations on topics, especially in a world of AI, where eventually AI will do the most basic of things. But in order for us to still compete as developers and, and for us to deliver value, we need to understand systems on a more basic level uh, so that we can fix them if they break. I hope that makes sense. So head over to roadmap.sh and let your learning journey begin. Oh man, I think I need to rethink this. This mask is freaking hot. Justice.